Hey guys, Justin here. I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Spruce Game Hunting. Check out everything I've gotten from the different locations and stay tuned to the end for the recap and pickups. Thanks guys, see you soon. Can't leave them on the counter. Mm. Probably all sports games. Ooh. Twenty-five bucks. Pokemon. Priced at full retail. Let's just see what these games are right here. We're back. Good afternoon everybody, it's 3.30 on, what is today, Thursday, I, uh, I'm getting out of work now and going to be going on some hunting, video games, toys, whatever, I'm going to a couple different places, I'm going to Seekonk um, that I haven't been to in a while since I don't have, since I'm on my own for the next couple days, the wife lady is out doing stuff for her boss and won't be home until Saturday. So just to kill time and whatnot, I'm going to go do some hunting in places I don't normally go to, on a regular basis anyway. So if I find anything, I'll show you guys. If not, I'll see you when I see you. Peace out. What's going on everybody? I uh, already went to Walmart, Target, and Savers. Uh, the Savers actually had uh, some old S, S, yeah, old Super Nintendo games. Uh, they had a bunch, it was mostly sports titles. They had a couple decent titles like UN Squadron, Donkey Kong Country 3. Well, you guys saw in the video. I picked up two of them, so you'll stay tuned to the end of the video to see what two I picked up. If this is the toy hunting video, check out the, I don't know what video this is going to be in. So whatever one you see, check out the other one. If this is if this is going to be in the video game hunting video, check out my toy hunting video. If this is in my toy hunting video, check out my video game hunting video.
What's going on guys, Justin here. So I just wanted to wrap all this up and show you what I got. I'm gonna start with, I don't know, I'll just start with this. So I'm gonna start with the Xbox stuff. Um, I don't really collect a lot of Xbox, but I do pick them up if I see them cheap, like decent titles. This one's just an empty case. The guy threw in because he was throwing it in the trash. And I was like, can I just have that? He said, sure. It's just an Xbox 360 case. Sorry, an Xbox 360 case for Gears of War Judgment. And like I said, it's an empty box. The two I picked up where he threw that in, they're both complete, is Diablo 3 for the 360 and Halo 4 for the 360. I don't really have many 360 games, so picking those up for like three bucks a piece wasn't a big deal. This one I picked up um, from a local flea market that's indoor. As soon as I walked in, the guy recognized me because I've been going there for a while now. He said, any game you want that's on the racks, not in the case, is $4. I was like, cool. So I grabbed this game, one that my wife wanted, which was a DS game, which is sitting over there. It's a cooking game. And two others that are PS2 games I'll show after. He gave me all four of them for 10 bucks. So I got The Chronicles of Riddick, which is an Xbox exclusive. I'm a big fan of the movie series, so picking that up was nice. But aside from that, there's not much in the way of Xbox games. There's three Xbox games that I picked up for the collection. The next stack of games I'm going to show you is going to be the PS2 games. You're going to see a big theme going here for PlayStation. Um, I'm a big PlayStation guy, as you guys know, and I've picked up a ton of PlayStation games. And I've got all these really cheap for the most part, which is the best way to do it. So we'll just go underway. Uh, this one was I picked up a couple days ago for 2 bucks. It seems kind of cool, fun little racing game but for two bucks I can't really get upset either way uh, Space Race this one I picked up there's no booklet the disc is in pretty meh shape it looks like it was probably resurfaced I haven't tested it yet I do have another copy of this but I got it because it was cheap Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex this game here is one of the ones I got that with the reddit game the price on it obviously is not what I paid for it, but Tenshu, Wrath of Heaven. This one I paid five bucks for. It's missing the booklet. The disc is in okay shape. I mean, it'll run for PlayStation 2 games. These usually run pretty well. I'm going to have to swap out the case, see if I can find a case for it, because this one's wrecked. But uh, Gauntlet, Dark Legacy, Legacy, Legacy. <laughs> this one the guy threw in for free. The booklet in it is wicked messed up. The disc is scratched, but I think it should play. I've had games that look worse than that that I've played. And that is Super Monkey Ball Deluxe. So for a free game, not bad. This one I picked up at Savers with another game. I don't remember which game came with it. I think it was Savers. Yeah, Family Guy the video game. Again, like two bucks the most on that one. This one I picked up just because it looked cool, and I think this might be the one that came with the Family Guy game. I don't know much about it, so if you guys know anything about it, let me know. I think it's an RPG, but I'm not 100% sure. It's called Legion, the Legend of Excalibur. That cover art is really cool looking, by the way. This one I picked up... Uh, this one I picked up at Raynham. I got it for three for five. Uh, the next three of the three I got in random. They were three for five, two bucks a piece. This one was part of a box set, I believe. Is Metal Gear Solid 2. 
tactical espionage action. This one is missing the booklet, but it's one I've been looking for for a while, so I didn't really care. I haven't really been looking that hard, but I stumbled across it, so I figured I'd pick it up. Area 51. This last one I picked up because I'm a big fan of monster trucks, and it's got my favorite monster truck on the front. Monster Jam Urban Assault. I don't know, I like those kind of games. Figured why not. The next lot of games I'll show you... There's more PlayStation games. These are PS1 games, which I'm building my collection on. One of them, I believe, is a duplicate, but it came with another one, and they were, ended up being like two bucks a piece. So, Nicktoons Racing came with Tomb Raider 3, which I believe this is a duplicate, so this one will be for trade or sale. It's like a 5 to $10 game. This one was up in the front case. It's in really nice shape. It's a greatest hits version, but I don't care. These go for like 40 bucks. And it's uh, Crash Bandicoot. I got it for 10. Not a bad deal for 10 bucks. These next three games are PlayStation 3 games. I got this one for $2.99 at Savers. Because every once in a while, all of a sudden, they are selling the games out on the floor. Just single priced. I don't know much about it, but it looked like it would be fun. It is Call of Juarez, Bound by Blood. Bound in blood, I'm sorry. These two I got the other day. I went to Seekonk. I hadn't been there in a while, so I went out, did some toy hunting, some video game hunting. Um, everything turned out pretty well. One of the Walmarts I went to had a bunch of PS3, Xbox 360, some even PS2 games on clearance. I picked up these two games because they're games that I've wanted, but I didn't want to drop what GameStop was asking for them, which is over 20 bucks a piece. I think this one may be 15 to 20 bucks a piece at GameStop used, but I got these brand new sealed in the package for 12.88 piece. Is DuckTales Remastered and Doom 3, the BFG edition. I was glad to pick up Doom 3 because I wanted it for a while, even though I know it's not the best in the series. But I don't care. I like Doom. I collect Doom, so I'm going to keep them. This next stack here is. All going to be Nintendo stuff, but I'll actually show you this first. I picked this guy up thinking it was a little bit older than it was. They go for like five to eight bucks. I paid two bucks for it with something else, so it's not a big deal. It's a little handheld Pac-Man game. It works great. The inside has a little bit of corrosion in it, but it works fine. I cleaned it up and it, there's no issues with it. The next deck, like I started to say, is a bunch of Nintendo. The first stack is just Nintendo Wii games. I, well, doesn't matter. I picked up a Wii. I'll show you in a minute. This was inside the Wii, Ghostbusters. It runs fine. I tested it out. The only reason I have this next game is because it came with one of the other ones I'm about to show you, but Disney Princesses Enchanting Storybook. I don't know. I know I sold the Disney Princess game before, and I made some good money on it, so I will take that one all day long, as long as it'll make me some money, because I'm not going to keep it. That came with this one, which is missing the booklet. If it had a booklet, Super Paper Mario. Then these two were together in a package um, on the shelf. I think I paid eight bucks for the pair, so four bucks a piece. They are both for trade or sale because I have one, and the other one I don't plan on keeping. I've had one and flipped it before. Should make me about 30 bucks if I sell it. Is Mario Party 8 and Super Smash Brothers Brawl. I've now picked this up like four or five times, which is cool. One of the other games that I picked up, I don't know what it came with. Uh, I honestly can't remember. But I saw this at Savers. Both discs are in killer awesome shape. I think I paid two bucks for it, or two fifty around there, it is the player's choice version of Resident Evil 4. So I can't ever pass this up. I now have it on the PS2 this i don't remember if i've picked it up on the wii before but i owned it on the wii at one point and now i have it on the gamecube the i picked up a black wii this had the ghostbusters in it it works great i've already tested it out i got it for 4.99 i have a bunch of cables and stuff downstairs that i've picked up so i'm gonna put it all together in a package the other cool thing about this is it had an 8 gig memory card on the inside, which I'm going to sell with this system because 
I've got a bunch of them. I don't need another one. The last couple of games that I've picked up, nothing crazy, but they're retro. So it's cool. I picked this up for five bucks. It works fine. The sticker's a little, a little bit worn, but not too bad. Super Mario Brothers Deluxe on the Game Boy Color. And I picked up these two. My savers has been getting this year and the, towards the end of last year a lot of Super Nintendo games. A lot of people have been dropping stuff off Super Nintendo wise. I picked up these two at a 30% off coupon so I paid like 18 bucks for the pair which isn't the greatest deal but it's not a bad deal either. I got uh, The Lion King and Donkey Kong Country 2. I didn't have either of those for my Super Nintendo collection. I've never owned Donkey Kong Country 2, so that one's going to stay with me. Uh, the Lion King staying. I have one for the Sega that will now be for sale or trade. Because I'd rather have stuff in the Super Nintendo than the Sega, to be honest with you. Because I don't ever play the Sega. But um, that's it. That's everything I've got. And it wasn't a real lot this time, but it was a decent, some decent stuff there. So in the next, what is today? Today is Saturday the 18th. Yeah, Saturday the 18th. The flea markets are going to be opening, well, the outdoor Seacon flea market is going to be opening in about two weeks. So I'm going to try to, going forward, I probably won't have another video out after this one till that. I might have one depending on what I find between now and then. Um, but aside from that, uh, I keep saying, uh, and I apologize for that. The Seacon... <laughs> Flea markets will be opening on April 2nd. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to try to put one video out, video out a week throughout the summer. As long as I have enough footage and stuff to find. You know, if not, I'll throw it together every two weeks like I have been for these. I'll also be keeping up with the toy videos, which I'll basically maybe do one every other week and just do it that way. Or I'll put out two videos a week, one toy video, one toy hunting video, and one video game hunting video. And we'll go from there. We'll see how this goes. I'm really excited that the flea markets are about to come back, that the yard sales are going to be coming back pretty soon. Yes, there's snow on the ground. It's supposed to snow tonight, but I'm so close to getting there. We're so close to April. It's it's almost like two weeks away, and I'm very excited. Also, tomorrow at my Savers, they're having a friends and family only discount, which they had to give you a flyer to be able to do it, and all video games are 50% off. So hopefully they're going to have some of those Super Nintendo games left. You'll see that in the next video. See if I got anything for that. With that being said, that's everything I got. As always, if you see anything you like, let me know for sale, trade, whatever. I've made a couple of trades with one guy on here, and we've gone back and forth a few times. So I'd like to make more trades with you guys. But aside from that, as always, please like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and I will see you guys soon. Peace out.